it's hard to be manly at this point. Like, the manliest thing I do in a day is that moment in the morning where I floss my teeth and my gums are bleeding. I push all the blood to the front. And I just look in the mirror and go, and that's how I came to live with Tyler Durden. <laughs> like, that's the manliest thing I do all day. And I know what you're asking. Isn't it weird that your gums bleed every day? So my manliest day ever uh, <laughs> was a day where I went to the shooting range, shot a giant gun called the Hellboy, put a bullet through the shoulder of a paper terrorist, which is where I meant it to go. Uh, on the way home, had a flat tire, had to change it myself. Didn't know how to change a flat tire, figured it out. Damaged my car real bad, but didn't ask for any help. That's very manly. Got home, had a non-light beer that had been hidden at the back of my fridge, just like Charles Bronson would have done. Uh, and then turned on Pixar's Up and cried like a baby with an ear infection. Exactly as Charles Bronson would have done were he a baby with an ear infection. Uh, but then, I was like, at first I was like, oh, Manly Day is ruined, this is terrible. But it turned a corner as I realized I was crying so hard and so furiously that my crying was excessively manly. Like, uh, you have to work out your tear ducts to let loose that sort of man sorrow. <laughs> Like, you have to train for that. You have to wake up every morning and do 15 reps of the notebook. You have to, like, listen to the audiobook of Tuesdays with Maury while watching a Fox News broadcast. You have to chop onions while watching the slideshow you made for your grandfather's funeral. You have to stand naked in front of a mirror looking at yourself and just not stop. Just keep going and just and not pretend. You have to, to cry that hard and that manly. You have to finish all nine weeks of P90 existential crisis. That's the level of work that you have to do to be that manly. <laughs>